Okay, guys, I'm here today with Guarno Ryan. Huge honor for me. Guys, Guarno was, I mean, like the biggest surprise in Nogi that I think everybody ever saw, right? He competed in the ADCC and he pretty much submitted all his matches until the finals, right, Guarno? Yeah, five out of eight, I think. Yeah, that's really, yeah. really, like, impressive. I, I mean, like, I have seen very, very, very few people doing that on ADCC. And now he has his gi on. And he's about to do the same damage. I just rolled for him here with Gi, and I got really surprised with how well he's doing. And today he's gonna show us one of his favorite techniques with Gi, and I'm very excited to learn from him. Okay, so just from a butterfly guard, I have a very big butterfly Ashigarami type team. Um, without the Gi, when someone punches an underhook in, what they want to do is step over the leg and pass into half guard, and then go into their passes from here. Okay, so normally without the Gi, when they take an underhook, I take an overhook. But with the gi, we have the luxury of having a belt like so. Okay, so that gives me a, an ability to start lifting my partner versus just pulling them with the overhook. So as my partner goes to drive in, we use the belt, and from here we take our right foot through and we use the ball of our foot to start elevating ourselves up. But the big mistake I see with people trying to use butterfly sweeps is they fall down to a hip and they don't get the elevation they need. What you need is to be able to push yourself off your hip and onto the point of your shoulder here. So you're elevating as this foot comes to the floor, and that's what gives you the ability to start elevating people up and over. So we use the belt like so. As he goes to drive in, we take my partner's wrist. From here, we punch his wrist down into my partner's belt line. The weakness of any one-on-one -on -one grip is the space between the thumb and the middle finger. If I just grab his hand out here, he can easily pommel his hand out, and then he's free. So I push his hand into his belt, so when he goes to pommel his hand out, the weakness of the one-on-one -on -one grip is covered by his stomach, so his hand's trapped now. As he goes to drive into half guard, we bring the right foot through, and we bring uh, the belt up, and we use a high left elbow. So that from here, we start taking our partner up and over, and from here, we can easily sit him down to the floor. One more time. So we come in. As he beats me to the underhook, we take a belt grip like so. Now he punches his hand into the belt, so when he goes to take his hand free, it's difficult. Now, we take the left or the right foot through, so we can start elevating ourselves off of our hip out to the point of our right shoulder. As we do this, we use a high left elbow to get elevation up and over, and from here, we have a nice top pin and top side control. So guys, really cool what he's doing here with this frame on my hand. So many times when you go do this passing, everybody does do this grip like this, right? So I can always try to connect my both hands and that. So what Gordon is doing here, he push my hand in, so this arm doesn't move anymore. So it's really hard for me to post anywhere. And then he just keep going with his sweep, and he gets on top. So it's very cool to see like how he's bringing like his no gi game to the gi, and very useful. So thanks so much, Gordon. Thank you. Awesome.